it's very difficult um, to engage with all the things that we used to imagine we were going to do when we were older. Yeah, the, the, everything's been derailed, I find. You know, the, things have changed so much in, in the last, let's, it's, not, it's, it's over 18 months now, but it, whenever it was, you know, pre, the world changed forever, didn't it? In, in a bit after January, 2020 all bets are off and, and and my worldview has been so shaken about everything to the point where I almost can't enjoy films anymore because I know that they are created by an industry which is essentially evil and is is using it as a way of programming us um whether it's seeding ideas or or, or whether it's um it's sort of giving clues to explain how the world really is um it, it it makes it very hard to 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 view the world from a kind of normie perspective anymore because once you know you you cannot unknow and i feel that way about music yeah, about I, film I, about tv i'm i'm there too and, and everything everything i watch i now see I don't see it as something necessarily putting me off completely, but I just understand it as yeah. another element to it. And um, it, it, uh, I don't even bother sharing it with with, with, uh, with the wife anymore. I don't point no, out. No, you, well, you I can't. Sometimes. You can't. Watching they... Squid Games, for instance, you, you know, you just know they're prepping us for, for the horror of that sort of thing. And um, Yes, it, well, the scene... It's... The, the the scene I think in the in the penultimate episode where they're all sitting around a triangular table with these black and white checkered floors and and people in masks and stuff these are all these are all tropes of either Freemasonry or Satanism or or, 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 or both and it's so obvious when you when when you see it in the same way you know okay James Bond has got really really turgid I watched the the new you know die another whatever yeah whatever what is it called it's got die in it i mean i, I, I don't know I, I i'm so over james bond I, I don't think i've seen one for the about the last six james bonds but when you when you realize for example that one of the functions of james bond is to gull you into thinking that the security services are your friend and that it's a good thing that there are, there are agents who've got licenses to, to kill because he's acting on behalf of your country and it's and there's a union jack and it's all very patriotic and you love him mm -hmm. that, that this is all part of and, and and that and that there is a close relationship between between the uk and and and, and the us and that and that the cia are our friends in the form of felix lighter well i mean the CIA is not our friend. It's it's a, a a continuation of OSS, which was a, a essentially a a, a, a mafia organization. The the mafia, or, or the, the the all the crime syndicates of America, in cahoots with the cabal, the, which 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 plot all manner of of horrible atrocities against the citizenry, which which foment wars. Uh, which which are most assuredly not our friends this is the problem isn't it so how can you relate to the bond the bond movies when you know this when you know that felix leiter would much more happily uh, waste you in a moment um for for no reason um and is plotting against your your country and against yeah everything um you know well this is why you have to see it and watch it in the same way as you watch say toy story where you kind of know that uh, uh mr potato head doesn't come alive when your back is turned uh, but just enjoy it for the silliness i think having that extra level of knowledge it, it shouldn't well obviously it's not going to stop us watching stuff but it, it just gives you another another element to it and um you know sometimes that can be quite interesting and quite fun to to try and pick apart the more subtle ones but uh um, well, it's like it's like you... there's the similar thing with 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 music so i've, I've been watching the the beatles documentary the, the, sorry the you know mm. the I get get back, doing it? That, it's yeah it's it's really interesting it's really really interesting because you are right in there among them as they as they break up and and, and it's just fascinating to watch the dynamic between them the relationship between, with the roadie 
Mal Evans, the, the, uh, the studio engineer, Glyn Johns and George Martin hovering in the background, all these, and it, and it, and it feels like you're there, you're there with them. Um, so that's all very interesting. And at the same time, you think, well, well, as I said at the beginning, maybe they, well, I, I've got to do a podcast with Mark, Mark Devlin about this. This has been a long time coming. You know, ask him about his his least favorite topic. Paul is dead, and the, and and all the other things about were the Beatles created by the Tav Tavistock Inst Inst Institute as, as as the kind of the yin to the the Rolling Stones yang. Um, was it true that uh, was it? who was the American, Dick Sullivan, was it? The, whoever, who'd, who'd been briefed that there was this new phenomenon involving these things called teenagers and that they were going to go mad um, when they saw this, these, these mop top boys in their, in their Pierre Cardin suits or whatever. That, that, that we think it was all organic and that it sprung out of the Cavern Club and stuff. But, but what if it wasn't? What if it was all, all pre-planned with an agenda in mind? Um, it, 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 all our experiences from our from our from our, our previous lives, they seem like like we were living in a dream state from which we've now awoken. It, well, it, well, it does come back around to the matrix every time, doesn't it? It does. It does come round to completely waking up and realise that every aspect of our previous lives was lies. And uh, but but it is that the matrix does it so much better than anything else because it shows that. Uh, uh, it, it proves beyond doubt that everything is a program, you know, like, like the girl in the red dress where, when the, um, that little guy, is he called Mouse? He says, I invented her. I, I, I put her in there for you. Did you see her? Uh, and li little things like that. And uh, the, the conversation about the, um, the guy who betrays them when he says, uh, I know this steak is just a load of zeros and ones, but I also know it's the best steak I've ever eaten in my life. And uh, choosing to blue pill and go back into into the matrix um, I used to think that surely no one would do that but uh, I do think that's most of the normies and uh, but but taking Neo's position and knowing that everything from from history to um, well especially history, history. Is a for a start, history is a isn't biggie it? especially isn't it? history yeah. yeah looking at every war um, differently you know you and I have always loved our, our military history and obviously history if you look at it in that way is a history of warfare mm. but um, to, to, to reassess every war that ever took place uh, through the eyes uh, of the awake it, it's it's quite an interesting one isn't it it is it's a biggie it is it's almost as though um, we live in well again it's the matrix isn't it that there are these two at least two two realities there's the reality on the ground for i mean say say for example we'd been of fighting age in world war ii world war ii would have been our massive adventure in which we'd either have lived or died and we and we'd have invested everything in 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 these experiences and they would have felt very 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 real real and we'd have, we would have believed all the propaganda because why not and and so on and then you take it take we a step we would have been james and richard coward wouldn't we we would have been but, as per your books but but we'd have then you take a step back from that and you realize that that world war ii and world war one and the french revolution and pretty much every war was was a bit like the, the hunger games or a, a bit like um the squid game it was staged they were arranged for the benefit of an elite and and we were all just we we kind of humans um, we're all just bit players. 